Hey everybody, Brett Thompson with Thompson Law Group. Uh, so I appreciate all the positive feedback from the video blogs I've been having or uh, teaching Tuesdays in the Closing Ninja classroom. Uh, so I had a question. One of my real estate agent friends wanted me to post about the difference between a title company and a, uh, a lawyer or a law firm uh, settlement. All right. So this is not exactly an unbiased opinion here. I'm, a, I'm an attorney, but I am going to give you the facts on how a closing works and some distinguishing factors between a title company and a law firm or a lawyer um, conducting the closing. So the working parts are about the same, okay? Um, you've got the settlement agent, which acts as the middleman. So in Virginia, um, title companies are legal, meaning that the Virginia Code allows lay settlement companies, meaning just a regular company in the private sector that can act as the middleman. The middleman in Virginia is known as the settlement agent. So the settlement agent, the bank, okay, is going to communicate with the settlement agent. So nine times out of 10, any kind of real estate transaction is going to involve a lender, all right? And normally it's going to be an, inst an institutional lender like a bank, all right, or a mortgage company. So the bank is going to send loan instructions to the settlement agent um, indicating what the terms of the loan are. The bank is going to wire in the money. So the, the settlement agent is the middleman holding the money. Um, the buyer documents and the seller documents are, um, are going to be sent to the settlement agent. Now, depending on who the settlement agent is representing, um, kind of depend, depends on in what capacity they're going to work. Uh, but for example, if the buyer needs to bring money to closing, so the, the buyer will come to closing with, uh, with certified funds uh, or a wire, okay? The, the Wet Settlement Act calls for the money to be good money. So we start out, everything's the same. Um, at closing, the settlement agent is going to produce um, what we call a CD, which is also known as a closing disclosure statement. Now, the closing disclosure statement is the settlement statement, and it shows all the money coming in and all the money being dispersed. And it shows the seller side, and we've got a buyer side one as well. So um, the settlement agent disperses that to the seller and the buyer so they can see exactly how the money's coming in and how it's being dispersed. And under Virginia law, it has to be dispersed every penny exactly as stated on the closing disclosure statement. So the seller and the buyer acknowledge, approve it, and they sign it. At that point, uh, the settlement agent disperses all the money to everybody that's disclosed on the CD. And then they also would record um, the documents that need to be recorded, such as the deed and maybe the deed of trust if there's a lender involved. And those get recorded in the clerk's office in the land records. So structurally, everything um, is the same. Um, legally, there are some distinguishing factors. So a title company, also known as a lay settlement company, um, they can push the paper, okay, to the buyer or the seller, but they can't make any, um, uh, they can't give any legal representations. They kind of, they cannot explain the documents at all. Um, meaning that if they try to explain the documents, it would actually be illegal. It'd be, it'd be considered the unlawful practice of law in Virginia. So they can only act as a, um, in a clerical manner or a ministerial manner, uh, pursuant to the Virginia code. So if you have any uh, legal questions pertaining to what you're signing, this stack of paper, they can't help you um, unless they have an in-house attorney, okay? And then it technically wouldn't be a lay settlement company. Um, so there's a lot of working parts to a real estate transaction, okay? It's just not like you're buying a car. There's a lot of things going on and it's a huge purchase, all right? It's a big deal and there's a lot of legal implications behind it. So a title company can't give legal advice, a lawyer can. Now also, along the way, if there is an alleged breach of contract, let's say that you're the buyer and the seller, for whatever reason, has failed or refused to close and failed or refused to sell you the house, all right? And we've got a potential breach there, all right? If you are at a title company and there's no in-house attorney there, um, you're out of luck at that position here. They, the title company would have to refer you to an attorney as opposed to if you are re already represented from the beginning um, by an attorney that was acting as a settlement agent and acting as your representative in a, in a legal capacity, you'd already be in the right place. For example, um, I litigate real estate matters, all right? So if we're doing a closing and I represent, say, the buyer and there's, there's a breach um, from the seller side, the demand letter would come from this office and if need be, we would litigate the matter. Um, we would sue for any kind of monetary damages and also there's a provision of law called a specific performance. So we could actually petition the court to force the seller to sell the house to the buyer in accordance with the contract. So, um, 
in that respect, okay, there's it's a huge difference. So just keep in mind that um, a, a title company, um, they can act as the middleman, push the paper and disperse disperse the funds, but that's it, okay? They can't give legal advice. They kind of explain the documents, and if the wheels fall off the track, all right, and there's some kind of dispute, they can't handle it either. And I guess lastly, um, don't assume that uh, a real estate closing by a law firm is going to be more expensive than a title company. That's just not the case. I've done thousands of closings. I've seen the settlement statements on the other side from title companies, and our fees are in line with any other lay settlement company. Only you're, if you're closing here, you're going to have legal representation. And like I said, I've closed thousands of, of pieces of property, anything from a, a shopping center to my neighbor's refinance of his principal residence. So I hope that helps as far as the structure. What is a title company? What's the difference between a title company and a law firm closing? Thanks a lot, guys.